Hello and welcome to the Christmas Everyday Club. Today we're going to look at Lacey Chabert's Christmas movies. She may be the runner-up to the throne of Gretchen Winers in Mean, in mean Girls, but today Lacey is the reigning queen of nice in Hallmark Channel's Christmas movies. Coming in first is Matchmaker Santa. Came out in 2012, 10 years ago, Lacey played Melanie a baker whose plans for a romantic weekend getaway get thwarted. Instead, thanks to a mysterious Santa, she ends up stranded in a small town, picturesque, picturesque of course, with her boyfriend's best friend, Dean, who may be the better partner for her after all. Fun movie. I like both of them. Get it watched, guys. Next up is A Royal Christmas. Came out in 2014. In this ultimate royal fantasy, Lacey plays Emily, a seamstress from Philly who catches the eye of a prince. The hurdle he has to prove to his queen mother that Emily is worthy of becoming royalty. If you like your royal movies, that is definitely one to watch. And if you let us know in the comments, guys, um, which of Lacey Shabbat's Christmas movies do you like best? Or are you a fan of hers overall? Let us know what movie you like best. Next up, though, is A Family for Christmas. Came out in 2015. Baker, seamstress, and now local anchorman. The versatile Lacey plays a woman who tells a Santa at her office Christmas party her wish of having a family. The next morning, she wakes up to find that she's married to her colleague, college sweetheart and that her dream life might not be all she had hoped for. As we all wish we, we could find a Santa like that, don't we, guys? Next up is A Christmas Melody. came out in 2015 also. For this one, Shabba is directed by none other than Mariah Carey, who also guest stars. She plays a single mother who moves back to her hometown for a fresh start with her daughter and who, with the help of the sexy, lucky her, music teacher, writes a song for the town's annual Christmas variety show. Next is A Wish for Christmas, came out in 2016. Santa, again, proves very helpful. This time, when Lacey's Sa Sarah Shaw, you might call her Sarah, yeah, a shy executive, tells him she wants to have the courage to stand up for herself at, the, at work. Sarah's wish is granted, but she only has 48 hours to speak her mind. It's quite a popular movie, guys. Next up, The Sweetest Christmas, 2017. It's back to the kitchen for Lacey, who plays pastry chef Kylie. She's made it to the finals of a baking showcase, the American Gingerbread Competition. But her oven breaks down and she seeks help from her old culinary school boyfriend. Let's just say things get complicated. Next is Pride, Prejudice and Mistletoe. Came out in 2018, based on a Melissa Della Cruz novel of the same name, Cold Hearted Darcy reconnects with old rival Luke to plan a Christmas charity event. Darcy soon realises that embracing the holiday spirit means opening her heart to a surprising romance. I have not actually seen that one, guys. Um, let us know if it's a good one to watch. Christmas in Rome, 2019. Lacey plays tour guide Angela, who is fired from her job in Rome days before Christmas. Ouch. A chance encounter with American executive Oliver leads to a whirlwind private tour across the Eternal City. Next, we have Christmas Waltz, came out in 2020. Lacey gets to show off her moves in a movie about a winter wonderland Christmas wedding being cancelled unexpectedly, only for ballroom waltz instructor Roman to teach her the almost bride to dance and love again. Next, we have Time for Us to Come Home for Christmas. In her latest, Lacey plays Sarah, one of, one of five guests mysteriously invited to a remote inn to celebrate Christmas. Owner Ben helps her remember a miraculous event from her past that eternally connects them and perhaps is the key to why five strangers are together during the holidays. Then we had Christmas at Castle Heart. Brooke Bennett goes to Ireland for Christmas to search for her, for her high, Irish roots. While there, she meets Aidan Hart, mistaken for the elite event planner. She's hired to host his castle's epic Christmas party. We also have the 
holiday tree. Molly, who works for a publishing house in New York, travels to her hometown in Vermont in a bid to save her parents' Christmas tree farm from foreclosure after they failed to repay the mortgage. I have not seen that one, guys, I don't think. I need to check that one out. And that is our list for Lacey's Christmas movies. Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And hope you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Till next time. Goodbye.